Hello everyone, this is Heather. We are setting up some uh, different charts here and how to use eTrade Pro because we're all mad at TOS. Okay, so we want to set up an option chain. This is, I'm going to show you here what my normal option chain, my option page looks like. And this is where, uh, what we're going to build here. Okay, it doesn't come standard like this, but we're going to build it just real quick running across it here strike price in the middle and you can choose how many you want in there right so you go up here to the top strikes and you can choose i always set it to all and then we're going to go through adding implied volatility last trade bid ask theta delta total volume open interest okay so let's hop on over to the blank screen and give it a whirl Right, first thing we're going to do on our blank screen here, other than that order entry window, we are going to go here and pull down, go under options, option chains. Right, okay, it does give you this order entry window at the bottom there. I always just close that out. But I'm going to go ahead and make this nice and big so it's easy to see. And you can see here that. The option strike price, as I said, it's always right there in the middle. I'm going to go ahead and hit all. Close it up. I know it makes it look really big, but then it's easy to scroll. Because I do a lot of scrolling around different um, strikes uh, in, in my chains. Okay, so now the next. What do I want to add here? What you're going to do is go up here. There's a little drop-down box. And we are going to customize our columns. So you scroll down to where it says columns all right and it's going to pull up what it already has in here what is selected is what we see across the top here and these are all the things that we can add so we know that we want to see the strike price i am going to go ahead and take out the change and close because i don't use that so we highlight it and hit remove just like that Okay, what I want to add in here, I like the IV, implied volatility. <clears throat> go ahead and add that in. I like to see, and I take theoretical value. Okay, I like to see the delta, my rate of change. There it is, I'm going to add it. And my theta. There we go. So now I'm going to hit OK, and all of these things are going to pop in here. Well, they're not at all where I want them to be. So what I'm going to do, I leave my open interest in volume. You can change your columns here, or you can do it from up here. So I'm going to show you how to do it here first. I want to take my delta, and I like it to be over here next to my volume. So I just grab it, I left click, and then move it over. Simple as that. If you prefer to move it from within the column menu, you can simply highlight it. I like my theta and delta to hang out next to get next to each other since they're such good friends. So I'm going to highlight theta, highlight my arrow, and put it where I want it to be. And I can click. You can move all of those around, and then boom. There we go. So it's pretty simple. Remember, when you make any changes, you want to make sure to hit your layout and save it. Or when you close out at the end of the day, make sure when you exit, you can exit or you can exit and save. So you really want to go to that exit and save and make sure that everything is safe for the next time you open it up. Pretty simple. That's all there is to setting up option chains. Set them up how you like them. You can... Um, you know, whatever you like to see in your chart, maybe you like more, maybe you like less. This is what I use. All right, everyone, that's how you set up option chains in eTrade Pro.